President Trump is giving his U.S. trade representative 90 days to change a long-standing policy in the World Trade Organization. One America's Chanel Rion has the details from the White House. President Trump called out seven of the top ten economies in the world deceptively claiming to be developing nations in the World Trade Organization. The world's economies have changed dramatically since the WTO was established in 1995, says President Trump in the memo. But World Trade Organization dichotomies separating developed nations like the U.S. from developing nations like Liberia have changed, but the World Trade Organization's policies have not changed with them. As a third-party monitor in international trade, the WTO sets rules and acts as a referee to resolve trade disputes between nations. With 164 member countries representing 98% of world trade, the WTO has a powerful say in how nations interact with each other economically. Claiming developing nation status are entities like China's Hong Kong, Qatar, Singapore, United Arab Emirates, among others. The president alludes there are actual developing nations who genuinely need trade help. But for Qatar and China to say they are developing nations in the same plight as, say, Afghanistan and Liberia is not only unfair to actual developing nations, but unfair to developed nations like the U.S. who are expected to carry the burden of an unbalanced trade system. The president's memo assigns the U.S. Trade Representative's office to use all available means to change the WTO's outdated policy. If unresolved after 90 days, President Trump declares that the U.S. will no longer recognize those developing nations that the Trade Representative views as improperly designated. Chanel Rion, One American News, the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.